sentence before. There is, uh, there is always one problem in the transmission of uh, knowledge that uh, it happens that little mistakes or little changes try to uh, happen. So first I want to say that what is uh, written in the program, I'm not a teacher of biomechanics, I'm a student of biomechanics of Gennady Bogdanov since about three years. Not complete three years, but over periods of three weeks, two weeks, workshops like this. And I'm not the director of the Mind Center, I'm, I'm working at the Mind Center. <laughs> so, uh, this problem in transmission is not only in words, it's also in movement. Maybe you will see also that. Throw the stone.
Axelrod performed this exercise in May in Sweden during a session of the ISTA, the International School of Theater Anthropology. And we were trying to follow the historical uh, path in our uh, continent, in Europe, how actors have been transmitting their knowledge to other generations. How were actors learning their craft, let's say, when the professional theater began in uh, 1545, when we had the first contract, what is called the Comédie de l'Arte. And then we arrived, we just tried to follow, we had the uh, historians who were helping us in this, and then we arrived to this very, very particular moment in our century, when uh, directors transformed themselves into inventors of uh, a new way of incorporating knowledge. It's no longer fathers, mothers, usually the companies, traveling who are teaching, who are just indicating to their children very often what they have to do. And uh, it was very functional. You go inside with a letter. And they were giving small advices to them. But it's when you go inside, you, uh, you uh, uh, tense your uh, uh, button, your buttocks. Yeah, this is the, uh, one of the devices that all actors were being uh, told by their parents, told me. And then you will see that if you try, try yourself, how this affects the stomach and the upper part of the body, and then you immediately hear this of association, <laughs> but it is a very important part in many other traditions, how they teach to concentrate on the, to, uh, sometimes they put, for instance, uh, uh, belts in order to, 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 to tie all this. So, we are right to this very strange uh, point where exercises are uh, invented. And I must say, I must confess that when I saw uh, Ralph, I had a sort of uh, emotion. I see now. Because uh, uh, when I began, I mentioned last night, uh, Merkel was a sort of... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, a presence. He was sitting in this room. We were only four uh, people, refused from the theater school, in a uh, uh, cold subterranean room. And uh, you can't do this for a long time if you don't uh, hear someone who accompanies you. Maybe we get it. Of course, I was reading, reading. I had no idea at all what this biomechanics was. So I was, uh, of course, saying to my actors, we are doing biomechanics. They didn't know what they were. They were 17, 18 years old, uh, Norwegians. Uh, yeah, what we were doing was uh, acrobatics, pure acrobatics, uh, different things, etc. So for me, it was really shock when uh, about one and a half years ago, a friend sent me these uh, exercises we had seen last night. And for the first time, I saw uh, this exercise, biomechanics, and this extraordinary fragment from the uh, Rizzo. And I really felt that... Uh, and then we had Ralph. And then why I was also very touched was that because I, this is the first, or one of the first exercises which has been invented in our tradition. And in spite of Stalin, in spite of death, in spite of people, follows vanity and all these things, here, someone has been able to transmit it from generation to generation. It was unbelievable that Ralph, a German actor, had been learning this from uh, Bogdanov and Bogdanov and Bruce. This transmission was for me one of the most uh, beautiful, maybe spiritual aspect of my craft. When I, I saw it in May, I started, uh, I started asking me, uh, because I know now, after 30 years of working and training with my actors, so I know that each exercise is, is not only a set form, but is also a lot of information. 
This information uh, are non-verbal, non-verbal character. They are a sort of uh, uh, way of innervating in the in the uh, organs of the actor certain uh, way of thinking with the whole body. So the first thing I, I asked myself, what was mental? Uh, the giving of information in this exercise. Uh, I remember that when I saw this, I, I, I clearly understood what the exercise is. An exercise in amulet made of memory. This is an exercise for an actor. And, uh, and this, made, memory made of, uh, this amulet made of memory, memory is something which makes us act. <coughs> memory is So, uh, I need to, 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 to ask Ralph to repeat and repeat and repeat again in order to understand, in order to see clearly what sort of information uh, these exercises contain. Of course, uh, this was in part uh, facilitated by the fact that I've been reflecting very much on this, how actors build presence before they start representing anything. This has been, for me, the, uh, yeah, what I learned partially with Grotowski when I was with him in Holland, and mostly with my actors when we began in us out of the back. We started training, training, hours and hours and hours, and then we discovered the following things. Before you start training, then you train exactly as the exercise has been taught you. And you are very severe. You have to repeat the exercise exactly like this. There is a meaning in it. We will come back to it. But then you discover one thing after three, four years you are doing this exercise. You dominate them. At the moment you dominate them, they dominate you. So the problem is that if you continue to, to, to train, how to begin to invent a personal trait. Well, all the experience, I would say all the information contained in the, your previous training must be there, but not before. So it means that you start inventing exercises whose principles, whose information are just the same as the previous one, but the new exercise help you to liberate, to free you from all the cliché and dynamic or energetic uh, way, manners, which training usually uh, uh, teaches us. You can recognize it once, a classical dancer coming here, or someone who has been studying Katakali, one is this <laughs> turning around, somebody who's been doing modern dance, and in the 70s, when training was much more popular, I could recognize it once, with whom? An actor can be trained. Even with whom of the protesters act, which was Cheshla, it would be Yaukovsky, or it would be So, I knew that you start from the set form, then the set form teaches you something, all the information, and then you take all this information to another phase of an individual training, which uh, uh, is not respecting anymore the original form or the previous form you have been doing, but you invent it yourself. Until you come to the third phase or the third season of our actors, in the only theater to call it, which is the season where the actors training by building smaller or bigger dramaturgical sequences. So when I saw this, what impressed me was, for the first of this exercise, throwing of the stones was the dramaturgical sequence. Beautiful thought. Then uh, we started working with uh, with uh, uh, Ralph. That will be doing with you. I will try to repeat what the way uh, I was thinking, looking at him. I was asking myself all the time, why, why, why. Uh, re remember one thing. Remember, we should remember one thing, all of us. Uh, all the. History of theater in this century 
is marked by some artists in theater who have a vision of our of theater as uh, in a, a way, a path to transcend performance and theater. All, all. It was Stanislavski, it was Major, it was Brecht, it was Grotowski, it was Coppo, it was Arto, all of the names. Uh, all of them, or more, many of them, worked on something very material, on very concrete. Uh, the, the, the physical, the mental, the vocal presence in order to reach this transcendence. Uh, so technique is not just a problem of exercise for them, it is a way of embodying or taking a step towards this transcendence. And here you have already the first moment of grotesque, that in order to achieve a spiritual level, you have to go to its opposite, to the animal, to the machine, to the body. So I he started, there must be a meaning behind all this, I was thinking, when Mabel was inventing, he was carefully uh, building these choreographies, perfect choreography. So, yeah. can you do that? Yeah, can you? Let me start to... Stop and repeat it, okay? Remember, so the first thing I see is this. This is besides begins, the, the actor arrives there, he stops, apparently is ready, but then he adds something else. Can you repeat it? Can you show it what it is? A very slight change of all balance and a sort of uh, tension forward. But if I should say, this, what is the position? This is also the position of uh, the one who is going to fight. In reality, ready to go forward or to go away. Exactly. This is sort of readiness. Now, we have a word which I've been using now because this is the, the best word I found. <laughs> this from the, of my, from the audio terminology is SATS. SATS is the position which you hear when you have to react to anything. SATS, boxing is always in SATS. Sometimes attacking, sometimes huh? tennis players are in SATS. They don't know, they have to react. Uh, when you are in, in a situation where you are in, in, in insecure, you are in SATS. There is a sort of readiness which it, it contains, it's sort of a void. It's a void of intention, but at the same time, the potentiality of doing it. Uh, uh, uh. So it is in such here. So the first thing I discovered is, aha, uh -huh, it's not just mobility, I'm ready, but it's a change which gives it up. And then what? Yeah. So what happens? I ask, what will be the next, the next uh, uh, step? Because there is one thing. There is the work of the actor on himself, and there is the actor, the moment when this work on himself is directed towards the spectator. And we will to, to know very well when we are working with actors, or when the actors work uh, with himself, which, on which phase of the process it is. Is this for himself or? In the moment he is building this for the performance. If I see Ralph, if one sees Ralph, Ralph can take again the position, tack, tack. Could you, what will be the next? What will be the next uh, action or the next step? Can we read it? No, we cannot read it. And, and in fact, at the moment that uh, Ralph is doing the next, uh, the next the phrase of action has been used to say and the audience do the next. You should press me completely. I'm expecting everything except this. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, you see, this is a way of learning to sing. You do something, this is very, very big effect. I will come, I will try to do that. 
because uh, what, what uh, but I think a miracle really invented was a way of thinking uh, our uh, uh, the building of our behavior in the same way as at the same time the uh, Planck was speaking about quanta and Niels Bohr was speaking in the, in the atom of uh, changes, small leaps of energy uh, within the atom. We are in front of uh, masters who have been thinking of the human being in, uh, as it, it was in, in, in an atom. Oh, 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 what is the power? What is the, the real uh, uh, force of, uh, uh, of energy, of life? But according to the logics of the microscopic, and not of the macro, of the small, and not of the big. And it is very, very obsessive, importance to the details, which all the time, and therefore music is fundamental, because one note after the other, you cannot be a musician without respecting one note after the other. And this is, yeah? There? So, surprise. Yeah. Yeah, do the game, do, do, do uh, action after action, phase after phase of the game. Really, uh -huh. see how the, 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 the whole thing works. as a spectator, here is again this capacity of, for the actor of building his dramaturgy, which has to affect the sensoriality, the, the sensorial uh, perception of the spectator. So what I'm seeing, it's going very quick. I'm perceiving, I'm not aware of it. Of the, the part of the brain is not aware, but sensory, I'm dancing, synesthetically, I'm dancing with the, uh, with the actor. And, and look how refined this. Look, look how he's doing this. I mean, if I should do, should start, I would do it like this. This is what he did like. Look how he has been, been repeated. It's been um, uh, elaborated in how many phases? One, two. How many? Can, can you can you count them uh, yourself? No. One. Stop! 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 Stop there. On each one. Yeah. Yeah? Three. Are you sure there are three? Once again? No, 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 let's not discuss. Let's find out if I'm right or who you are. One. Shh, shh, shh. No, let's not ask you. One. Two. Three. Yeah. Now, make this position. Make this position. Again, can you? Now, once again, my perception is what? My perception of, of someone, what will be, what should be the next one, next action? Yes. Well, what is the next action? To run. To run, yeah. Let's see if it is this. Yeah? You see, it goes back. Let me repeat it again. So, once again, uh, we have an expression. Oh, I have an expression. The actor negates the actions all the time. He is all the time negates the action which he's doing. So all these exercises is teaching to do, to throw the stones. But uh, through a myriad, a, a succession, many, many phases which all the time are negating the illustration of, uh, the, uh, of throwing the stone. It's sort of simultaneous affirmation and negation. Uh, 
I not understood this sort why, this very, very particular uh, way of uh, learning. Uh, what I, I'm, uh, of course, I appreciate, again, tasted, is the way how it creates a sort of surprise at the end, in order not to create, as to dilate the end and create a sort of not abrupt uh, staccato movement, but oh, like a com uh, uh, how do you say comment? Like a comment. Okay? Like the tail, yeah? Keep it just a little bit small. And then look. He's running and look forward. He stops and what gives to me, spectator, the image? That he's looking backward. He's looking backward. Once again, once again, from the moment he starts. He's taking me to uh, the spectator. Look, ta, I'm forward, there, I'm looking forward, ta, very precise, I'm concentrating all, ta, ta, there, there, he runs, ta, and then suddenly changes completely my uh, perception. He's looking something behind. Yeah? And then once again, uh, then I'm very slow, very slow, very slow. And then, oh, but you see, Jesse, no? when he's there, here he's doing a, a very special exercise. Look at this, what is that? There. Stop there, and then go back. Go back. There. Chuck. And then go, do this again. Chuck. Stop and go there. What is this? You have seen it here last night. Alexei was doing this. Chuck. Chuck, you remember? Yeah. And what it is? Chuck. 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 This is the real essence of biomechanics, bi bi which said, which made on the end when everybody was saying what is biomechanics, bi biformalism. Bi but if I wrinkle my nose, I don't do it with all my body. So I can do it. I can, I'm a director. I, I will be doing like this. You've seen all, all my articulations are moving, but a, a, an actor will be dancing because all the essence of dance is to change the weight from one leg to another. This is dancing. You go to this today, even if you are old and, and, and scholar as we are, and we start there, the music begins, and then uh, by yourself you begin to do this. <laughs> And this is all the exercises which were shown last night by Alexei. They were simply, he was exaggerating them because always at the beginning you learn or you teach the exercise very big and then you can make it smaller. And if I could have asked something to Alexei, I would have asked him to, today if he could have been doing the same exercise without stick. And then if you dare this without stick and without trying to make a performance to you, you will see somebody dancing just like Chaplin was dancing without following no genre, no recognizable genre. You will see really this sort of, of flame, what characterizes the flame, what characterizes the, the, the branches of the tree when there is wind, this sort of movement which is repetitive, but you can never say, wait, the next one will be coming. So, okay, once again, here you see it, the sats, this all. Yeah. And this extraordinary position, which obliges immobility to use a lot of energy. Usually one thing, immobility is the, the moment when we rest. Here is immobility, the maximum of work in reality. And then, oh, once again, we're slow, 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 do, 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 do it slow, because, you know. Yeah, this, this is very high. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you do, sorry, uh, Ralph, can you do a quick uh, step <laughs> When he arrived at this point, um, this point, I asked myself, why? Why 
Nehemiah makes the actors write and take this form. Once again, once again, he's throwing a stone. Eh? Yeah, from there. Well, what do you think? Do you think that he was uh, was really a journalist that much? Yeah. Must be a reason. What is the next uh, position? Yeah. So, so, so. Look, if 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 you take this stone, imagine this stone. Can you take this big this stone? Slowly, slowly. No, 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 no. Not by mechanical. <laughs> Yeah, if you pick one, to throw. To throw. Yeah. Tap. Okay, do slowly now. Okay, do it slowly. One. Yeah. Do slowly so that we can see really the design of the movement or the dynamical design. Yeah, it's too quick. We don't have no cable to see. So what we, are, what we see is in the anecdote. And anecdote is not interesting. Ralph throwing a false... Uh, Empty portmanteau. Look there. Stop here at this moment. This part of the of the body begins to work. It's very important to throw a stone here. Here is the answer. If you want to throw a stone, you cannot throw a stone with this. This part is working. Yeah, there's no in also. Can you see how? What's this? I, I, I suppose, I don't know if I'm right, but according to my logic of the of director who works in reconstructing the logic of life in, in, in his film, say, ah, but what is doing the reality in Mexico? It's not, it's just like Picasso. Picasso used, used to say, when I paint, I start putting red there and then I take away, but at the end the red will be somewhere. Yeah. And he is not just taken away because it, it, it is a, a very important uh, dynamic uh, moment. He's just anticipating it on one side. On the other side, I think that he, he was thinking that hands always have to be composed, they have to be in composition. You cannot just let hands remain as uh, uh, death <coughs> extremities. Once again, and now instead of looking at this, because he once again, what is the information? Uh, the simultaneity, uh, simultaneity of uh, 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 different, different balance. Concentrate on the legs. Look what the legs and feet are doing. Elaborate. So, so, so refined. Mozart. Oh, really? And this is a man who has been seeing Asian art performance. And this was invented in the 20s. Then again, surprise. We are thinking, ah, he's throwing, no? He's not throwing. Nance, once again, the tail. He takes the position, I would say this is Sats. And the such is transformed, is denies itself. But what is doing? Is showing, is aiming at, you see, once again, it is us really in this, this essence of theatrical, how to play with the perception of the spectator. How to make him think? Aggression? No, something playful. Really uh, letting him go from this one, uh, you will say, uh, today, several times has been involved by, uh, I think, Ted and uh, Beatrice, from the spectator from one dimension to another of reality, of perception. All the time, this is sort of balance, balance. You think it's this? No, it's not this. 
Nate, Nate, it's just like Hinduists. Eh? You see these Tony Stones? No, it's not Tony Stones. Eh? Nate, Nate. No, no, it's not this. It's not this. I think it's this. No. Affirmation negation all the time. Once again, once again, these will be uh, uh, so the three last elements can be uh, rhythmically uh, 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 welded together. Yeah, yeah. Sats, dance, yeah. and then why? So, stop again. Why is pointing with, the, with this? Yeah? Look what he's doing with the, with the hands. Sorry, sorry. Is this right? This position? Yes. How, how should be? How should be? Like this. Can you go back to the, to the, the, the other one? You, 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 are, uh, you are just laughing and then take the position. Ah. And here I must say, when I, 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 I say this position, I'll fill them just a few minutes there. Uh, then I know what, uh, what it is an, uh, 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 an exercise, a, a, a good exercise, a good invented exercise, a good exercise, a very difficult to invent. Uh, this is an ideogram, an exercise in ideogram, and all those who know Chinese and uh, Japanese know that the ideogram is strokes, very precise strokes, and you have to learn the, uh, the strokes according to a special succession. You cannot change it. The schools are very, very strict in Japan and China. Uh, there is two strokes, ideogram, three strokes, ideogram, seven, nine strokes, and you always have to uh, draw them according a certain succession. When you start dominating it, then you begin to work on calligraphy, and then it's really an art. So here we, we hear, the, just like a, a, a leading ideogram, indicating different, uh, an ideogram is also a montage, uh, of different images. Man, for instance, the, the ideogram for man is two ideograms contain rice field and uh, work. The two ideograms together creates the, the, the ideogram for man. The, the, the one who works the rice field is a human being. So this capacity of both being a, a visual, a, a visual uh, uh, element, the ideogram, and also a, uh, a in, in a conceptual element is in a way what the exercise is, but not conceptual in the way that you can read what it is, but uh, a, a, a having a, a, a knot of information which is absorbed by the actor who is learning, 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 or repeating, repeating, repeating. So once again here we have the oppositions, this knot of energy, what will be the next, the next action? What will be the next action? Ta. And then? We we'll do it in, in two phases exactly, according to two different sets. These are, they are two different sets. It's not one phrase, it's not, it's, there are two actions, is there? One, ah, uh, sorry. And then from this, one, and don't, don't, don't do it mechanically. All changes. There is to be expected. This, this is one and one. And then eh, and finish. What are the informations which the actor was being practicing very much in these exercises? And after three years, he said, Oh, well, I'm dominating now throwing on the stones. How we go into another exercise? Something which is different, something which makes me it be inventive in a very dense way, just like a poet uh, work with density, with words. Denying what makes, what does the poet? The poet denies the signification of the words when they put them together. 
in order to avoid illustration. Not only the director should not be illustrated, but most of all, this is the mortal sin for the uh, performer, for the actor. So what I, I see, when I see this, I say, aha, uh -huh. I've been learning that for the first. This is not teaching me to express myself. I'm not expressing myself, I'm not creative. I'm simply doing a real action where pointing is pointing, is literal, and uh, there is no other context. I'm doing a real action. This real action is a beginning and an end. This, uh, this, uh, this beginning and end, which is the whole exercise, in reality is not only one. There is a lot of small elements, we can call them actions, we can call them phrases, we can call them beats, according to the terminology, but one thing is sure. You begin, and then from the beginning to end, the succession is a succession of quanta, with Planck, Planck say, a succession of small, the smallest, the more refined, small a, a, a modulation shaping of energy, very precise form, all the time the form is the one which permits the information to contain the information. So there are all those changes. The, the smallest uh, uh, change makes the whole body be involved. Look, uh, one maybe you see again, you will see as each phase, each action um, engages the whole, the whole body of the, of the actor. Uh, it must be repeatable. Uh, it, it permits me to destroy the irreversibility of daily life. I mean, I'm in that position, and the next one is there, I can go back. One of the main secrets of the exercise is to do the exercise as an improvisation, so that I begin one, two, three, two, three, four, so that the moment you are going from one to another, you don't know what will be. You will go forward or backward, exactly as the most uh, the small uh, uh, particles in the atom, where we know they can go forward and backward simultaneously, say the scientists. We don't understand it, but they do it. So this is where they need it. And I suppose this, this practical, very, very concrete information, which become a way of thinking of the actor. No, when he starts working the text, it's not because he's repeating the exercise of the mechanics, but because he already has been learning that I have to go and sit through a series of negations and how to invent these negations in a way that they are justified by the style, the temperament, the, uh, the, the taste of the director of myself. Here, the situation changes from uh, context to context. And finally, I suppose, this is the most beautiful, for me, maybe, aspect of an exercise. It teaches the actor the commitment and the fatigue, the tiredness of a humble task. Okay. Right. And I want to thank you, of course, uh, Dorkinov and uh, Alexei for having transmitting to Ralph, who is very dear to me. Uh, the, the, the very personal greetings and embrace of Mexico. <laughs>